Hey guys, this is Game Guardians Genesis here, and I'm Jake, alone at GGG headquarters by myself. No one's here, and so I'm left to cover Sunday since everyone's gone or off doing something. I apologize for the later in the video or during the video you hear fireworks, as the recording date of today is July 4th. Go America, which is kind of ironic because we're playing an American made Japanese setting game, which is all about all those Japanese stereotypes of Yandere. And Yandere Simulator is, well, um, yeah, you're the schoolgirl and you want Senpai to notice you. Well, you don't want him to technically notice you. Uh, you'll see that later. But uh, a Yandere is basically person who really really loves someone and they love them to the point where if you look at them if a, if a stranger looks at them they're dead <laughs> they'll go as they'll go as far as to kill people who are even looking at the person they love Ooh, let's change the pennies let's see my personal preference <laughs> um, this is a good one since it'll give us extra study points during class which we'll use for upgrades Underwear for old-fashioned girls. Seriously, old-fashioned girls. And this part I laugh at. The Senpai Shrine. This toothbrush that I stole from Senpai's home. Brushing my teeth with this is a wonderful feeling. Then this is the bandage Senpai threw away. Some of his delicious blood is still on it. This is an apple that Senpai took a bite out of. Licking the teeth marks is so much fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's creepy, but funny. And then, uh, of course, in the uh, our place, we have a basement, but we'll check that out later. This is currently a debug build. It's not an actual published game. It's only about 9% complete. But with the uh, following debug build released today, July 4th, uh, a couple of bugs have been fixed. But basically, there's the same killing styles have been implemented. Currently, you can drown people. You can kidnap them. Then you can burn them, etc., etc. We'll cover them all. Let's check it out. So we can have our phone. We can take. Oh, oh no, that's senpai! Don't let him know you. With her? Basically, uh, the bottom right there, where the heartbeat is, that's where sanity meter is. But the more beats per second, the more crazy she is. All right. So accessories-wise, since it's a debug build, we can do all sorts of things. You can do the classic toaster and toast toaster <laughs> then we got cup popsicle senpai on our shoulder the devil we can do the stealthy style let's see which one's the this is it yeah this is total stealth that's the only glasses we can do eye patches currently and you can do octopus and this is my favorite and that's just creepy however since we are going to be killing people let's do the devil and also you can change the hair let's see we have a classic reference to, uh, damn, forgot her name. She's from Future Diary, a cool anim great anime. She's a true yandere. And then you have Legend of Korra. And go Super Saiyan or you can go bald. But her original hair is good enough for me. So, the basis of all the killings are going to be surrounded around the purple hair girl. I forgot her name. Let's see, uh... Yeah. Uh, there you go back. Why is it B? I don't understand. I'm using a keyboard and yet it's giving me gamepad controls. <laughs> That's odd. Hey, you can compliment people. We'll just say hi to her. She'll die later. And then we'll have, let's see, I can raise my reputation. Here we go. With all these debug cheats. And see if we talk to this person, we can ask them to do a favor and have them follow us. Which is, will be useful later too. So there's a secret menu if you press the question mark. You can have all these sorts of mode, which is really neat. But you can only do one at a time, I think, or uh, as... Oh, well, yeah, yeah. You can deactivate an easter egg. So let's check them out. Yeah, punish mode. This is really neat. I like it a lot. Really cool. Then let's see. We can press the key button. Reset. No! I didn't know it resets all the way. I haven't tested it yet. Okay, well, we can check them all out now. Slender mode. This is cool. I may just stick with this one later. 
Okay, let's see what else we have. Boncho. I feel like this is a reference to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Can't tell. No, we don't want to quit. Let's reset. We can pass the time by uh, going to our smart smartphone and then increase, then she'll just wait. There goes Senpai! Now my favorite mode. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, we'll get to it in a second. Hateful mode. Hello there. She thinks I'm absolutely crazy. How's it going? Apologize. Oh, I just... Mm. <laughs> I wonder how Senpai will act if he sees me. What is wrong with you? Alright, so we'll pull out the smartphone with the 10 minute mark. Now, my favorite mode of all time. Wait for it, wait for it. <laughs> Titan mode! I'm making the titan drown! <laughs> this does not make sense. Oh my god. Oh, uh, what the hell is happening? <laughs> Shield your eyes, kids. <laughs> no, don't quit. <laughs> Alright, let's see what other mode we have. Uh, Gallo mode? Oh. Neat. Let's see what else we have. We have DK mode. Odd. Oh! Donkey Kong, I see. And then the there's one more, I believe. Okay, L47 mode. Oh, I see. <laughs> this is a reference to Hitman. And now let's stick with the cool mode. Punished. He looks neat. She looks neat. And let's see. <laughs> An eye patch over an eye patch. And we have the devil. Alright. So we'll head straight to class. Go to class. And then we can, uh, I can use a D build real quick. Now we can go biology, chemistry, language. He only has, oh, the creator, developer. He only has up to rank two for only biology, chemistry, and language. With biology, we can now learn how to use tranquilizer, kidnap girls. Or guys, and we can poison people with chemistry. Poison their food. There's only one person you can do it so far. And then we can push them off a ledge and leave a suicide note. Alright, let's see. Head straight to the roof. Ah, magic, I see. Now we can just play the waiting game. The first off on our list is. Ah, you'll save yourself. Okay, so past time, then we will, damn it, let's leave it to 12, a 115. That was a good enough time, I guess. Let's go compliment to someone. How's it going? I just wanted to tell you, you look lovely today, red hair charm. She's gonna be the main focus of all our uh, killings. Come on, come on. Now let's eavesdrop and find out. Shut up, computer. Okay, so we've learned new information, but it seems to have been glitchy. 
it should have showed if we learned new information. It didn't pop up. So let's go to class and see if everything resets. Uh, let's just find this one. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now let's see. Did they give us the option? Oh, here we go. Leave notes. All right, so if if you haven't caught on, her father uh, she, she was talking about how her father was domestically abusing her, which is not right. Now we're gonna leave a note to have her meet us at four o'clock, since that's our closest time. Let's see. Number six. I think she comes. She won't leave till four o'clock, which is stupid because we want her to meet us at four. So we'll go. A little bit past four. About one twelve is a good time. Yep, she just read the note. You can see how day changes. Still not up on the roof yet. There she is. She walks too slow. This mother is 18. There we go. Oh, I haven't even realized. I'm so blind. Look at that epic arm. That is so neat. What's this? Push. Whoopsie daisy. Ouch. Let's leave a suicide note for her. <laughs> Let's take one for the board. <laughs> we'll save that one. Now, isn't that neat? And now we can go straight home, and no one will know a thing. The school day has ended. Teachers must walk through the school and tell any lingering students to leave. While walking around the school, a teacher discovers a corpse. It appears as though a student has committed suicide. The teachers inform the rest of the faculty about her discovery. The faculty members agree to call the police and report the student's death. The school's faculty members inform the students that a death has taken place on the school grounds. The faculty instruct all students to remain at the school while the police conduct their investigation. The police arrived and began the investigation to determine whether or not the student's death was a suicide. The police were unable to discover any evidence which would imply that the student's death was a murder. The police concluded that the student ended her own life. And then we got the day off. Isn't that neat? But if you look at the week, we didn't even get the day. So stupid. That was... Isn't that great? Now we can go to the cork board. We can place it right there, uh, right at the top. Isn't that neat? Okay, so I kind of uh, reset the game. So now we're on Tuesday, and the purple hair girl, she's alive again. Because she apparently only does this feature where we want. Now we're going to experience uh, her looking at our senpai, which we do not want. So. Let's head straight into school. Now that our chemistry is up, we can go grab the poison. If I remember, poison... Uh, damn, where was poison? Second floor? Yes. Alright. Where is this poison, you ask? Now that our chemistry is up, we can locate it. Poison. So let's see, we'll head straight to class, go to class, and we already have our stuff that we need, so just confirm that. Now I actually haven't seen this actually, uh, I haven't actually done this myself, I've only seen the developer post videos on the new development as it went, so it's going to be a first for me as well, which I think it will be pretty cool. Uh, let's fast forward this a bit. There's our senpai. He's going to stop right there at the edge. And there's purple hair girl. Wait a second. BS. Does she not actually go for food?
That is retarded. That is retarded. And I really wanted to kill her too. Well, screw it. Alright, let's see, uh, ask for a saber. Can you follow me? I want to show you something cool. I have no weapons on me. So let's go all the way down. Hopefully she's still following me. But I gotta do this real quick. Uh, let's see, take the tranquilizer. Now she's still following me. Okay, good. We head straight to the gym. And this is where we get to do the cool kidnapping. I love it. But the thing is, uh, in the description, it can only occur in the gym, storage room. Let's see, it's number two, and da. Uh. Oh, now I'm late for crap, class, crap. But she is too! So we're both screwed. And then I just dump her into the musical instrument box. And in order to do that, you have to request a favor, deliver, and see, um... Oh, no. It's not in here. It should have been, a, like, a request. You can ask uh, the person who you keep texting or whatever. They help you bring in the special surprise, which we need. Please try to make it to class on time. Take and now we're in trouble. Etc. Let's see, a more physical physical education, yeah, great for us. Oh look at listen, those fireworks. Now let's head straight home. <laughs> Yonder Ajan leaves school, returns home, and waits until the clock strikes midnight. Under the cover of darkness, Yonder Ajan travels back to the school and sneaks inside the gym. Yonder Ajan returns to the instrument case that carries her unconscious victim. She puts the case back to her house, pretending to be a young musician returning home from a show. Yonder Ajan drags the case to her basement and ties her up her victim. And where might she be, you ask? Well, <laughs> fellow audience, she is in our basement. But for some reason, she becomes blue hair, and we have a, a thing for that. Well, that is it for now. Next time, or not, we will cover more on Yandere Simulator. Have a great day.